One of the first elements you're going to create for your campaign is your brand, which is your logo. You want to think about how is it you want your brand to be perceived. Is it classic? Is it fun-loving? Is it mature? Is it young? All of these different elements are perceived as soon as you create that logo. So let's go ahead and use Canva, www.canva.com backslash tools backslash tool hyphen maker and backslash and you'll get this free logo maker. So it's going to say what is your, co your company name? You may or may not, uh, if you don't already have a Canva account, you're going to go ahead, want to go ahead and get that set up. It's going to say make my logo. It's going to say what is your industry? So it can kind of give some ideas of what type of icons, what type of elements might be appropriate for what you're doing. I'm going to go ahead and do other since mine's pretty specialty. It's going to say, okay, go ahead and choose some look and feels that you think are appropriate for what you want to do for your campaign. And it's going to come up with some ideas. I do not love that. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll through, see if there's some others that might be more appropriate. So I can look at what all the ones for games and recreation. No, that was not terrible, but it is not free. So it is going to make me pay. So make sure you're paying attention to uh, all the different elements you have available. And I'm going to go ahead and say, let's go ahead and start with this free one here. I don't love any of these things, so I'm going to go ahead and take uh, get rid of them. I don't love this background, so I've already uploaded a background I really like, which is kind of this canvasy feel. So I'm going to grow that to fit my thing. And I'm going to go ahead and I want She Remembers to be in one font. And I want Pearl Harbor to be in another font. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in two different boxes. Now you want to fill this box as much as possible. This is way too dark. So I'm going to go ahead and take this transparency way down. So it's just a hint of what we've got going on. All right, so I want to go ahead and I don't want that to be. Let's move that over that way. And let's go ahead and find kind of a, I want kind of a cursive script. But nothing too super girly. I want it to be kind of a classic. Ooh, let's try that one. And I do not love that, so let's try. So you've got different options there. And let's make it a little bigger. So remember you want to fill as much as possible because you're going to end up seeing this just really small sometimes. So the spacing on this seems really large. So let's bring those letter spaces together just a little bit. So you've got all those different elements you can play with in these options. So what else can I play with? I'm going to go ahead and add a... I'm going to bring that over just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and add this nurse's pin into it because that's kind of a nice vintage element. It kind of represents what we've got going on here. So maybe I don't love that. Let's try, what if we... Can we make just she bigger? So because you're playing a Canva, it might not play quite the way you want it to. So maybe I just put she in its own box and puts remembers in her. It's in another box. You can also use the already made text box text layouts to come up with uh, different elements here as well. I just do not love the way this is looking. Alright, let's add another text box. So let's just add a heading. Hmm. 
until I get kind of what I want it to look like. And really it's just a matter of playing with this. So what did we like? We liked this great vibes. Maybe we want different color. Maybe a different color. Now, remember how we created those custom colors when we did your palettes? You can go ahead and grab that hexadecimal number and it'll grab those colors that you precisely wanted. Now let's do that for the same thing here. Until you get something that will work for what you're creating for your campaign. super duper happy with it but it will do for our demonstration purposes. Alright so once you've got your logo the way you want it you're gonna go ahead and do download. You want a PNG and download. Make sure you're putting it into a folder or somewhere where you can go ahead and find all of those elements. So on my desktop I've got one called campaign designs. We're gonna go ahead and save it in there and that will serve as our logo. So that's going to be use my profile picture as uh, the different elements throughout my entire campaign. So you want to make sure you've done a really good job at creating something that really represents your look and feel for your campaign. Otherwise you're going to want to go back and change it later. That's all for that one.